Let's look now at a thriller called Venom, a British production that tries to buy prestige with distinguished names, but it ends up being just a ridiculous catalog of one improbable situation after another. We can't get scared during this movie because we're too busy trying to keep track of everything. See if you can follow this. Venom is about a little boy who goes to a pet store to pick up a harmless house snake, but he's mistakenly given a box containing the deadly black mamba, the most poisonous <laughs> snake in the world. Well, he brings it home where he's promptly pounced on by terrorists who want to kidnap him, and then things really get complicated because the snake escapes from its box, kills the kid's nurse. Tell everything. I'm just going to tell the first 19 minutes, okay? He, the, the snake kills the kid's nurse. Then he escapes into the ventilation system of the house. Meanwhile, the kidnappers shoot a policeman. The house is surrounded. In this scene, the kid has a potentially fatal asthma attack right after the kidnappers have taken a woman snake expert as hostage. Does it ever occur to you that this boy dies, you'll have nothing? Just do the best you can. Look, just let me go upstairs and get the boy's medicine. Let's go. That's the fancy drink. How about you? Why not? Yeah. Yes, it'll help us relax. What would you like? We've got whiskey, brandy, gin. I think we've got most things. Oh, uh, I think I'll have a whiskey. Coming up. What is it? Hello. That snake is kind of a landbound jaws. It jumps out of something at somebody about every 12 minutes all the way through the film. Venom has the most distinguished cast in an undistinguished movie in a long time. Let's check off some of those familiar faces. <laughs> The kidnappers are Klaus Kinski and Oliver Reed. The snake expert is Sarah Miles. The child's grandfather is Hollywood veteran Sterling Hayden. And right outside the windows of that house is Nickel Williamson. He's waiting out there. He's the great stage actor who plays the commander from Scotland Yard. Well, that's a lot of talent stuck in a ridiculous and complicated plot. The cops are issuing ultimatums from the outside. The snake is crawling through the ventilation duct. <laughs> kidnappers are fighting among themselves and chopping off people's fingers. The kid's choking for breath, breath and we're wondering, if Venom isn't the birth of a new genre, this could be the thriller as soap opera. Well, it doesn't work. Well, I like the genre, and I like the film. I okay. did. All the stuff that you're talking about uh -huh. I, made me smile. Mm -hmm. This is a film that obviously knows exactly what it's doing, mm -hmm. having two things going on at once. The police and the kidnappers, that's the standard story. Who'd pay to see that? They throw the snake in the house, uh -huh. and suddenly the whole thing takes so off. So they're caught between a rock and a hard place. No, right? uh, between a snake and a policeman. Okay. Uh, the point is, uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. I got scared by the snakes. Snakes scare me in real life. It scared me in the film. I thought it was funny. I thought the performers, all these talented people, I thought they gave off sort of that thing we talked about before, the joy of performance. I they knew they were I, in a silly movie. I don't worked. think I got the joy of performance from them. It seemed to me that they were really going through the motions, that the dialogue was, did not sparkle, was not meant to be Some funny. Some of the things that Nicole Williams has, has as a policeman are very funny. I can't think of a single one that he says that I think is at all funny. It seems to me that they're really just kind of marching through this and that it's a machine. It's wound up, here's the snake, here's the cops, let's make it go And I can hours. tell you that when the snake crawls up uh, Oliver Reed's leg, the whole audience levitated, to use I'm your sure, phrase. I'm sure they they got thing. very excited. I thought it's a funny little well, minor was, thriller, but funny. Very, very minor, not too funny. We it disagree. We okay. disagree. We disagree on Venom. Roger felt the plot was too confusing. I felt it was entertaining, so a split vote. And we recommend The Border for Nicholson. And I want to stick up for Venom. Just because the border is better, as I answered your question earlier, that doesn't mean that Venom's bad. Well, it doesn't mean Venom's bad, according to you. Right. Okay, that's all for this week. <laughs>